Hi, this video is going to show you how you can start your inspirational ransom note project. The idea is, is that you are going to be creating a message in on a poster that's going to look somewhat like a, a ransom note made out of different cutout letters. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up a new file. So when you open up Photoshop, File, New. This is going to be the document that you are going to be putting your letters on. So it's going to be a blank piece of paper, but I do want the width to be 10 inches, the height to be 8 inches, and the resolution to be 300. Background contents white. So it's basically a white piece of paper. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the existing letter um, image. Now this one is should be in your graphic design folder in a new folder called Ransom Note. And if you didn't do this yet, you can access this. You can download it from Google Classroom. And what it is, it's a bunch of letters that are set up uh, to allow you to kind of, uh, these, are, these are the letters that you're going to be grabbing to bring into your picture. So I'm going to set up my station a little bit. I'm going to slide Photoshop over to the left a bit, and I kind of squished it up so I can see my toolbar. I can see the layers window, but I don't have it taking up the whole screen. And I'm also going to take this image and I'm sliding it over to the left. So this is where I'm going to be putting my letters one at a time over in this area here. So the, what you're going to do is you're going to look at your quote. You can have that open in another, in another window if you want. And you are going to be doing one letter at a time. Let's say that my first word is the. T-H-E. So here's my T's, here are my H's, here are my E's over here. So what I can do is I can click on the zoom tool and I can zoom in to the T's. And you want to work kind of close so you can really see what you're doing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy one of these T's and we're going to be bringing that layer over to this field right here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick which T you want. Uh, because it's the beginning of the letter, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to use a capital letter. So I can use one of these lowercase. So let's say I just want to grab this one. The tool you're using is the lasso tool. It's the third one down, it shortcuts the letter L. If you right click on your tool, you can see that there are different types of lasso tools. The polygonal lasso tool allows us to make a selection with straight lines, just like how we would want to do for this ransom note. So I'm going to put the the cursor has the little icon of the polygonal lasso and it also has this little black arrow. I'm going to line up the black arrow with the corner and click. And you can see that it now stuck to wherever I clicked. So you want to get close as best as possible. It's a little bit of a pixely image especially when we zoom in. So you're getting as close as possible. You're putting that arrow right on that corner. You keep going around until you get to the end. You know you're close. When you get to the end, you'll see a little circle right at the bottom of your polygon uh, icon. And you see that little circle? That means you're close. So if you click, it'll complete that. Now let's say that you messed up. You're, you're not real happy with this. You want to redo it. You hit Command D. And Command D will deselect your selection. I'll do it one more time. You click, 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 and click. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this selection. Inside this field, you right click and it says Leia via copy. Now you're going to notice in your layers window on the right when you do this, you now have a layer and all that's on there is this letter T. That's the only thing that's in layer one. The background has still everything else. So if I use the move tool for example and I move this you can see now there is my copy of that T. But I want to move this over onto this picture right here. And it's, it's okay if it's small. That's the way it should be. So before I start moving this around because you know this is kind of like in the middle. I want to bring it over up in here. You um, might want to make it a little bigger so you can see it. So the one thing you need to do when you start making it bigger, you can see that the proportion is getting all messed up. You want to keep that proportion 
uh, uh, you know, at 100%. You want to keep the ratio the same. So to prevent this from happening, you come up to the top here and you have some options. You have a link that links the width and the height proportion the same. So if you click on the link, you could see that they're both at the same number. So what this will do now is it'll let you move it a little bit more free. I'm just going to bring this over here. Now once you bring it over here, in order for it to lock in on that side, you have to go to this top tool options bar and commit to it. So there's my T. In the meantime, I don't need this anymore. I should drag this into the trash can. So I'm going to do the same process a little faster and I'm going to do it with the letter H. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using the hand tool which is allowing me to to scooch over to the H's. If I and I'm holding down the space bar to do that. Once I let go of the space bar, it takes me back to the move tool. So let's say I want this H right here. So again, you go to the polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to click on that corner there. 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 And there. I'm going to be making a copy, right click, lay a via copy. I use the move tool and I move this over here. Now I don't have to change the size, I can just go right to the next one. So I'm going to show you what happens though if you're not paying attention. So let's say that this E is the next one I want to do. So once again I go to the polygonal lasso tool and I click. I right click I go lay a via copy. So this might pop open. It says cannot make a selection from or a new layer from the selection because the selected area is empty. And you might say that you just broke your machine, but you actually didn't. Because if I do go to this area right here, I made a selection of the E, but notice I'm on the wrong layer. I'm on layer one. What's in layer one in that space? Nothing. You see? So you want to make sure that if you start not deleting these layers. If you keep on having these layers build up, you always want to make sure you're back in the background. So I click on the background, I go back here, and you bring this over. So you might want to get into the habit of taking these layers as you get done bringing them over and put them in the trash. So the next video is going to show you how you can start arranging all of these letters together into words and how you can start organizing this to make life a little easier for you because every word is going to have letters and every letter is going to be uh, a different layer. So the next video is going to show you how you can organize that.